guys what's going on welcome back to another video on the channel here um today we're going to be replacing a battery on a 2015 dodge ram 3500 cummins turbo diesel um this battery we need to replace that battery we did a little while ago and it seems like this one's just losing its charge so we're going to replace this one today the truck is actually throwing a code on the dash and um i'm hoping that replacing this battery is going to fix the code I uh, kind of wipe out that problem and we'll be good to go again. So I'm going to get some tools and we'll get right to work. All right, guys, so we got all the tools out that I think we're going to need. If we do need more, we'll just go grab some more. Um, so I think all we need to take off is this terminal, this terminal. Uh, we do have a couple auxiliary uh, switches hooked up. This wire right here that you see, this black one, that runs to our light bar on the front of the truck. Um, but I think other than that, that's the only thing. Oh, I don't think we even need to disconnect that. It'd be sweet if we didn't need to do that. All right, well, let's find the uh, the right bolt here and we'll we'll start taking it off. You go grab a screwdriver, I'll be right back. So for those of you that don't know, when you're disconnecting a battery, you just disconnect the battery going negative first, then positive, and then the opposite way when you're putting it back on. You put positive on first, and then negative. So, I'm just trying to loosen up the uh, terminal here so I can pop it off easier. Um, some of the tools I'm using today, obviously, screwdriver, and then this Milwaukee fuel set. This is a pretty sweet set. What it is, I'm sure most of you probably know, it's just a ratchet. It's motorized. So you put it on the bolt, obviously, crack the bolt loose, and then squeeze the handle up here. It just loosens it up like that. Screwdriver. disconnected. Now with this one, what we're going to do is figure out where the insulation comes together. I want to try not to rip the insulation here. There we are. All right, insulation's out. There is a bolt down there holding it in, as I suspected. So I'm going to grab an extension. Terminals are going to be a lot tough just because we do have the uh, light bar wire. Boom. This right here. Just like that. And I'll put the clamp back on and reinstall the terminals. Remember, positive first, then negative. Let's try this. Just snug it up. Cool, now we're going to take off this cap here. Boom, now we install a positive and negative. There we go. Still on tighten. Get a little closer to the battery. Bring the ratchet. If you're looking for an easier way to take off bolts that are hard to reach places, we would highly recommend this thing. This thing is a lifesaver. So you don't have to do this little twist thing here just this much to get the bolt off you can crank this thing down and it'll just rip whip it way off there we go all right so new batteries installed i'll show you what i do with these old caps like i said i just put them on the old one uh we'll put all the tools away and then we'll go and clear the code inside the truck here we go negative goes on negative positive goes on positive put the handle down our other batteries on the other side of the garage over there. 
Um, now we're gonna go over here. Grab this here. Grab this sets of tools. We're gonna head to the back of the garage. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to fire up the truck here. Make sure okay, it still starts. do here is I'm going to press the back button on here go down until we find oh, looks like it already reset message is zero so there's no you can see that no messages on the uh, engine there's the degree out right now so it is cold it's colder than when I woke up this morning one degree no messages on it so now we're gonna go back up to Vehicle info, that's what we always keep it on. Tells you all your coolant, trans temp, and everything. That's how you replace a battery in a Ram 3500. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe, and have a great day.